Hello, hello, happy Thursday. How is everyone? Hope you're having a great Thursday heading into the weekend. Been really busy around here and excited. This is a fun project that we're gonna do tonight. I have some fun things to tell you about. I'm just getting out my trimmer. And I see that we're live, so that's good. So tonight we're doing what I'm calling a mystery card. Lots of demonstrators have mystery cards and I don't really know what they do. But what I am calling, the reason I'm calling it that is we're gonna start with a sketch. I've given you the supplies that I'm working with I've shared that and I've got the sketch, but that's as far as I went. We're going to have to figure it all out together. So I thought that that would be fun. Uh, first thing I want to tell you about though is, let me just get to what I'm going to tell you. Um, I want to tell you about the fall retreat. So. Last year, we had a fall retreat and we had it here in Vermont and people came here and it was awesome. We had such a good time. Well, we're not doing that this time, but we're still going to have a really cool time. I'm doing it all online this time. That was the house that we stayed at. It was so gorgeous. Okay, so what we're doing, it's October 2nd and 3rd. Mark your calendars. And you're going to want to figure out if you can do this when you what you're available and all of that because I need to order all the supplies for everyone so what we're gonna work with and you'll have a sneak peek of them tonight we're gonna work with the gilded autumn paper and I just love it uh, we don't we're not using all of these we're just using the paper tonight so what are you gonna get when you say yeah 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 I want to come you're gonna get a really cool swag bag full of cool stuff from me um, all brand new Stampin' Up! products you will need them for the projects that we're gonna do throughout the weekend. Uh, Friday night, there will be some make and takes. They'll be pre-cut and in your bag. You'll also, we're also gonna have a pajama party. There will be contests for the best pajamas. Um, there'll be pillow gifts, and you're thinking, I don't have pillows, what do you mean? These are, if you were coming, I would leave little things on your table throughout. So there'll be two or three, I haven't figured them all out yet. Little gifts, little things that I can that I have for you that say, fall in Vermont, super fun. And then we will also learn how to make what it is that I give you. So you can tell that I'm gonna make them. And then Saturday, we'll have some wow projects throughout the day with techniques. We're gonna do a fall sampler. Um, I'll have a list for you probably around the first week of September of supplies that you're going to want to have, things that you're going to want to gather that aren't going to come in the bag, like your trimmer and your adhesive, and I'll tell you all the extra things that you might need. Then there's also optional classes, and these are not, we won't have these live, they won't be part of the weekend, they will come, but I'll tuck them in your bag so that we can save on the shipping. They're for to-go classes, they're going to be pre-cut card kits, the PDF instructions, and assembly videos. So they're each $15, and I will tell you all about them. These are the stamps that we're gonna use for those. But as with any of my classes to go, you can always use a different stamp set if you want to, but those are the ones that I'm using, okay? So that's the way it works. If you're interested, go to um, my blog and you will see shop let me go back up here you'll see tutorials and embellies click on that and um, I'm showing my website Mary Lou and you can see to click on the fall retreat okay okay so please ask questions. Let me know if there's anything I can do to answer your questions or things that you want to know about. I'm not sure if this is for you. Just send me a little note, okay? And I can help you out and we'll get you going. All right, so today we are going to start with this mystery card. Mary Lou, am I unfrozen now? 
my back for you. <laughs> uh, this is the mystery card that we're going to start with. This will be on the blog later tonight. It just isn't there yet. And we're going to use Gather Together. This is actually the stamp set that I used last year. This is one that was carried over from last year. If you missed it, this one is a beauty. I love this one. The sentiments are great. It's a great little bundle. They carried it over into this year's catalog because it was so cool. So we're using that tonight. I'm also using the Stitched Shape Circle. This is from the layered stitch shapes. There's circles and squares and ovals. I'm using just a circle. And I'm also using, I thought I had it right here, I do. I'm also using the Subtle Embossing Folder. All right. Then, this is that paper. Oh my gosh, it is incredible. It's got a little bit of gold in it. It's so beautiful. Look at these designs. This is the paper that we're featuring in the Fall Retreat. And the herringbone. Oh my gosh, so cool. This one. It's gorgeous paper. All these colors, love it, love it, love it. This texture looks like Vermont mountains, but it could be flowers. Oh, I just do. The acorns in the leaves, more acorns and leaves. Oh, this green, and that's the wheat. Oh, these, so beautiful, right? Love all of it. So this is called Gildem, <laughs> Gildem, Gilded Autumn Specialty Designer Series Paper. So I did what I suggested to you is separate them because you get a sheet of each. And I'm gonna put the one set away and then this set I'm gonna prepare so that I have it ready to make as many cards as, as my little heart desires. You know, I can't cut all of these at once. I wanted to do this with you rather than do it all ahead of time. So I wanna make sure that I have my paper facing the way I want it. Do I want to go this way? I want to go this way. All right. Now, the one thing you'll notice about this paper is that its, it's base is very vanilla. So you're going to want to use your very vanilla with it, not Whisper White. I mean, you still can, but if you look at, for example, this page, that's not Whisper White. That's very vanilla which gives it a really neat look. So I'm gonna cut these into three four inch strips. Okay. And then, oopsie. And then I'm gonna cut these into six by six, or into six inch. So I'm gonna end up with a four by six. All right. I'm just gonna whip through this. I'm not gonna do everything I don't think but we'll see then I looked on the back and it listed all the different papers all the colors that coordinate with this this set okay so there's my designer series paper I have myself a blend an empty stamp folder this is one of the regular ones I actually like the thicker ones but I'm all out of those so this is the, the regular size of a stamp set, but they do have the wider ones too. Um, oh, that means I missed all of you guys. Hold on. I was thinking, how did I end up with this? Let's just do one of these. Hey, Christine. Okay, uh -oh. so this afternoon, we kicked off our leadership summit for Stampin' Up. I was supposed to be in New Orleans this weekend. Good thing I'm not, since Laura is there. Um, but because of COVID, Stampin' Up re redid everything and made it an online event. So we had this um, the kickoff this afternoon, and then Saturday and uh, Friday and Saturday we have like seminars and workshops and chit chats and today was the welcome and I, I showed you I posted a picture we've talked about it a little bit um, Stampin Up does spoil us sometimes this is very vanilla and they sent us a package in the mail 
this beautiful Tiffany blue box. I had no idea that we were getting them. And we got these so delicate Tiffany crystal champagne flutes. I didn't even know there was such a word. And we all had a Zoom toast today to toast to each other as though we were together. It was really fun. Okay, so I'm going to cut this five and a half by four and a quarter. There's that. I'm going to say this is my card base, so let me, I'm going to score this while I got it, while I've got it right here. Make sure I'm using the scoring gizmo, not the cutting. Oh, Becky, I thought of you. I thought I lost it. Becky, did you ever get your scoring thing that you lost off your trimmer? Becky's fell off of her trimmer in, in moving at one point and she didn't have it. I um, just want to tell you the colors that go with this are Cajun Craze, Mint a Macron, Crumb Cake, and Early Espresso. So I take a sheet of each of these and then I'm going to cut these in fourths. And then when I go to make my mystery card or any other card, I have every color that I need already pre-cut, ready to go. So there's these four sheets. I'm going to cut these at five and a half. Ugh. Okay. Sorry I brought up the sore subject. <laughs> I was hoping they would have sent it to you. Must be there waiting for them. That is one of the issues that we've had in the new world of COVID. Things don't get shipped the way we thought they would. Do you find that at, with other things? I was so used to Amazon on my one and two day delivery and just not so much anymore. Okay, I am now ready. I can move my trimmer. All right, so this is my little, my little kit that goes with Gildam. I apparently that's not a word I can say. Gilded Autumn, right? So I have the designer series paper and the coordinating card stocks that go with it. Okay, so there's that. I have my card base. Now I'm gonna look at my, my mystery sketch. So first thing I need is my card base. Check, got that. Now I need a four by five and a quarter. Now it says designer series paper, but I almost think I wanna use card stock. Isn't that weird? Oh, good. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad that that works. There's so many things that... I, the whole paper towel thing and the toilet paper was just crazy town. All right, so I need a piece of four by five and a quarter, either designer series paper or a cardstock. So let's look. I think I'm going to go with cardstock and run it through the embossing folder because I like that. So let's see what we want. Well, let's pick out our colors. So we've got everything all ready to go. I'm going to cut one of each of three different designer series papers that kind of go together. Well, this one first because I just love it. That one's going to go. Um, oh, I think this might go too. This might be kind of cool. I'm going to line these up and see what I think. I like the pumpkin. Oh, I kind of like the green. Wait, this is looking better. I like this better. Right? This, this. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's so many choices. Maybe I can get back to my acorns that I really liked. Where's that other acorn? Ooh. That might be good. All right, so you tell me. Hold on, I'll give you a couple of choices here. Love that one. Okay. The top row or the bottom row? A or B? This is A. This is B. 
Which three do we want? And then I have to find one to go underneath. And I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be early espresso. So this is gonna go through the embossing folder. You keep thinking. I don't know if you have checked out the new, the, the new Stampin' Up! Cut and Emboss Machine. B and A. Okay. Oh, Lisa, did you get your email from me today? Make sure I didn't go to spam. It has your um, your class in it. Top row, top row, top row. Isn't that funny? I was going with this. Christine, you like the bottom? All right, you know what? Well, we have two cards, so we could do both. All right, so this one is one card, and this one is another card. This one is gonna have you. You did, okay, great. And your package is on the way, so. Oh no, you need mint, you need mint. Hey, Janie. Ooh, wait, this would be cool. Okay, so let's get our paper out of the way. I, I, I love all of them. That's the my problem. All right, so we'll do two. We've got time. We can get two done. I can go fast. All right, so let's let's do this part first. We're going to do our embossing folder. So if you have not... Oh, the other thing you need to know is if you placed an order with me in July or August, I sent out happy mail reports, uh, happy shopping reward reports in the mail. So stock your mailbox for me. Something's coming, like real mail, not, not email. All right, so to do an embossing, I'm gonna look at the instructions right here in English. And it says, insert the embossing folders hinge first and a 3D embossing folder goes like this. So it needs plates one and four. All right, so this is plate one. So there's one. I need the embossing folder. Let's pop you in there. And notice the embossing folder has this line. You're gonna wanna line your paper up right along that line and that, makes, that will make sure that your design is straight and not wibbly wobbly. And then this is gonna go like this. And then here is plate four that's gonna go on top. And we're gonna crank away. Oh, I love how this looks. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, if I get it away a little there. Isn't that cool? Oh, love it. Okay, so there's that one. Let me just do the other embossing. We're gonna kind of mass produce these little babies. And I'm doing early espresso for the other one. Hinge first. And crank. Notice there's no clunking until the end. Like everything goes really smooth. I love this new machine. I really was thinking, I don't know, my other one works fine. Oh no, it doesn't. I love this. And it folds up, it takes up so much less space. Okay. So now we need to do some trimming. We need to trim these to be four by five and a quarter. Could have trimmed it first, but I didn't. By five and a quarter. There's that one, and then bring you over. Five and a quarter by four. I will have all this information for you on the blog later tonight. 
I was late getting things posted. Okay, so now I need three of one and a half by three and three quarters. All right, so these are gonna go this way. So I'm gonna do all three of these at three and three quarters. Save that. And then I need one and a half. Save that. Okay, so there's that card. And then this one, same thing. Three and three quarters. So you're thinking, well, that seems kind of like a lot of cutting. It really isn't. If you kind of plan it out and mass produce it a little bit, it's not bad. By one and a half. Okay, there we go. We're gonna need to do this too, but we'll do that after. And we also need our ribbon, which is part of our supply list. So now these extra pieces, these are gonna get popped right in here, and then I have them. Now eventually this is gonna get too full, that's why I like the fatter one, but for now we're good. And I'm ready to make another set of cards really soon. So, And I'm done with my sketch too, so I can put that away. Hey, Vicki. Okay, so let's put these little things together. I'm gonna grab some Cajun Craze for this one, and some Early Espresso for this one, matchy, matchy, matchy. I'm gonna grab a sponge dauber and I'm gonna ink my edge. Also going to ink these little these little guys. So I'm going to do it right now while I have the ink out. I know I, for some reason I can't talk and daub at the same time. It's going to be quiet. my finger. If you are thinking that you want to come to the fall retreat but you need you're not ready yet or you need to save up just drop me a note so I can I can get your your bag put aside. Uh, Kathy, at first, I will tell you I love the sponges better, but Debbie and Mary Lou told me to try the daubers, and they are the inking queens, and I actually do like it. It's not as messy, and you can control it. Bye. Um, so I do like it. That one. And let's go with our early espresso. See, need to watch in Memorex. I think she meant in the morning. Oh, what was that commercial? Is it live or is it Memorex? Mary Lou, you're funny. Remember that? Shows our ages. Buzzing right along. Oh, I really do like this paper. It's heavy and so pretty. That coppery color is just enough. 
the copper and the gold. They do have more control. The sponge is wet. Well, they sort of do, except that when you're going in a rush, I end up getting more on than I wanted. But I'll be good. They're really good. Yep. Okay, so now we can put these things together. First things first, we are going to October 2nd and 3rd. Which I think is similar to when we did it in real life. I can't remember the dates from last year. Was it Columbus Day weekend last year? it was or maybe it was late I worked I have to work around Lulu's birthday Lucy turns three on October 13th um, I'm, I'm thinking out loud remember I haven't made this one before okay we are going to use our Lucy style um, dimensionals. If you watched my video with Lucy, she used a half a pack of dimensionals on her card. Oh my gosh, this week we made puppets. Not stamping up at all, but the girls and I had fun. Okay, so this is going to go here, and here, and here. I feel like that's not the right one. Did I mix these up? No, I don't know. Is that how I picked it? I kind of like that better. Are we okay with it like this? Because I feel like this is too similar. I don't think I like it. But I like this one. I don't know, I had them picked out, but they don't look the same now. That's why it's a mystery. I was thinking today when we went on, um, when I went on our, our Stampin' Up! our last trip, which I didn't know at the time was gonna be my last trip, it was the um, the Greek cruise, and we did the mystery. The more floral was in the center. This one? I know, I did something. What did I do wrong, you guys? Did I switch the background? So it was this, and this, and this. And this, and this, and this. Yeah, that's better. Yep, that looks better. Well, but guess what? I stuck an emboss a thing on the back, so this one's gonna go like this, and we're gonna like it. It'd be all right. So you're gonna go like this. And you're gonna go like this. Really, with this paper, you can't go wrong. You can't. It's so pretty. One, two, three. Uh, so we went to a mystery dinner theater on this ship. It was really pretty funny. And they, they act everything out. So in the middle of dinner, they come through, if you've ever done any of those. And it was great. I enjoyed it. But I, I was so busy paying attention to the whodunit that I don't even know what I ate. I'm not really good at multi, uh, at paying attention to multiple things apparently. Which is kind of what's happening right now. Alright, we're going to be good. I'm going to get this one down and we're going to love it. Of 
pushing that over where you're supposed to be. I don't like it where it is. There. Yeah, I like that. I would show you our puppets, but they went home. They were really cute. They were sock puppets. It was fun. Okay, phew, that seemed to be difficult. Just for me. And this one, I'll see if I can do this one easier. stick you down. We're going to get you where we want you first. Do, do, do. Yeah, this one looks, it looks better now. The only one that looks a little blah is that one on the left over there that I flipped, but it's okay. We're going to, we're going to fix it. Don't worry. I'll hold you off. I'm going to do this because I know where I want this side to be. So I'm going to line up the two edges because I want this and this to be the same all the way around. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. And then put the middle one in when I'm done. That way I can, I can put that one where I want. That one can be centered better, which is what I should have done in the other one, but I talked through it. Um, mystery cards may be fun, but the mystery, <laughs> the result could be a mystery. Either you like it or you don't. Okay, there we go. So there's our cards ready for sentiments, but we need to run um, this through our um, machine with our very vanilla. Pick up the messy stuff, so bring you back. This time we're using a die, so we need this. Three, two, one. So there's three. Where is three, three? Where's two? I'm missing. Oh, it's right here. Sorry. Let's try it. Drawing a blank. Couldn't find two. There's two. And there's three. So one's on the bottom, then two, then these two things are three. And then here is our, our little kit again. I'm gonna pull out a whisper white. Some of the people that were in the leadership today, we were from it's from demonstrators from all over the world. So in my little breakout group, there was a lady from Australia. And she has been out of her house once since March. And they're, they're locked down again in Melbourne. And one person can go out of the house at a time. And you can go to the store once a week or something. Like really crazy, far more strict than we are here. Okay, so there's that. And you can see this works really, really well. And everything just is the right size. It, you don't need shims. It just works great. Okay. Right? It is really cool. I love it. Maybe we'll do it, um, we'll do it in a Zoom. That would be really fun. 
Right, Shannon? That's what I was thinking too. If everyone would just pay attention and do what they were supposed to do, we'd all be good. No, we can't do that. I could pick on New Hampshire, but I won't. Even New Hampshire people, you know, live free or die. People that don't wear helmets for motorcycles. But, <laughs> but we wear masks. Yeah. All right, let's not get carried away. All right, so we've got the gather together. And we are going to use, what are we going to use? Oh, so many cool things. These have great, these would be really good with some of those papers too. I'm not going to do that because we'll be here till tomorrow. But I'm going to use the big leaf part of it. And then I'm going to use maybe Season of Thanks. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> I think some of them oozed over here. You're okay. <laughs> Shannon lives in the state next to me, so that's why I can pick on her. All right, so. Season of thanks. And so I'm not doing like really complicated. I'm just gonna do. Try the stitch rectangles. Have you, did you try it on an angle, Rosemary? That's what I find is I have to like, I don't want to go straight. I have to go. I would definitely call them. I, I have used mine and I haven't had any problems and I've used that new, um, this one. No, that's not it. The one I used the other night. This celebration labels one. And this is really big. And I didn't have any trouble. But I haven't tried that one. But I kind of go on an angle with it in. So instead of nice and straight, which, you know, those of us that are like that, we like things nice and straight. But I would call them go that way with it instead of this way. That didn't help? Huh. I, I would definitely call them and tell them what happened. It shouldn't do that. It could be a defective dye. It could be... I, ha I really haven't heard of too many people having problems and I have fallen in love with it. But definitely, if it doesn't work for you, you should call them. That is one of the reasons that I agreed to, that I picked, yeah, that I picked Stampin' Up! is their customer service is beyond reproach. They're just really awesome and will make things right. So I would call them. All right, so I'm going to go with Cajun Craze on this one. And I want like half my stamp, my leaf on it. Ooh, cool. And then season of thanks. Ooh, I like that. Okay. And then clean my stamp. So I've really used this stamp a lot. I do too. I do like the design of it. And same idea. Because we're going to mass produce this card. We're going to make two. Now you could take your blends and add some fall color if you wanted. You don't really have to, but you could. This is the faux suede trim. 
and I'm going to go with my tried and true wrap around the pen bow. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? No, I'm not. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to put you like this. Yep. So I'm going to run a piece of that of adhesive back there. which is kind of a lot of brown, but I really do like it. This is like like fall sweater day. It actually was kind of cool here today. There. You need a thing under you to stay there. Take your pick. So I want you to take your... Um, this sketch, I want to see what your card's going to look like. Post it in the Facebook group and tag us, tag me in it so I know that it's this. And I'll, we'll pick a winner. Okay, so there's that one. This one, this one I'm just going to do a bow. So two bunny ears. <laughs> yeah, it definitely was cooler today and rainy, 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 which we so desperately need here. I'm sure that that sounds crazy to other people, but I was so excited to see it rain today. We have a little stream behind the house and it's completely dried up. My sister's in Virginia and they're just constantly raining. She has toads in her backyard now that she's never had before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where do I want you? I think I want you over here. Alright, that looks good. I need some dimensionals. Really? Oh, it really poured here today. Which every other time it's like they say, oh, it might rain, and then it just kind of skirts around us. Today it really actually did, like I had to find my raincoat. I took a whole bunch of retired Stampin' Up! product that because I only show you what is in stock, I won't use something that's not current. Um, and I donated it to, my daughter has a friend that teaches third grade, and I donated it to her school. Yeah. So I, I had all my bags of goodies to load in her car today. She was super excited. And she's going to pass it, if they ever get back in a classroom, but the teachers can still use them. So I felt really good about that, and they didn't just sit here in my closet, taking up space. So... There are our two mystery cards. Here is our mystery sketch. And I will load these on the blog for you so that you can find them. And I want to see what you do with them. Pick a different designer series paper. Pick a different stamp set. And let's see what your cards look like, okay? Just, just hashtag them, mystery card, and write, say, hey, Kara, here's my mystery card and then I'll, I'll make sure that I don't miss it. And you can use either one of the two groups that we have, either the Simple Stampin' or my VIP. 
I do too. It's this paper. You can't go wrong with either one. I'm looking at it thinking I should have inked this now, but I'll be okay. I'll make more because I have my whole kit super easy, ready to go. All right. Okay. It's sometimes fun to just start with this and not know where you're going. So I don't have a, any help that was going to tell me what it looked like. I didn't really know. I'm almost thinking maybe it might look cool if you didn't use the circle and you did one of the new labels. Ooh, I might try that. I might change it up a little. Because if you notice, this does not have anything for your sentiment. So you could do whatever you wanted on it. Oh, I'm, I'm super excited. I can't wait to see what you do. Because I can think of about 12 other things I could have done now. All right, have, have a wonderful weekend, you guys. I'll be back on Monday with some more Let's Make Cards. Love you. Bye.